Yasu, the last video we discussed rules 1 through 9 on this table. In this video, we'll explore rules 10 through 12. These ones get a bit trickier as they contain more than one variable. The basic form of rule 10 is A or AB equals A. It means we can drop off this AB term. This is surprising at first, so let's prove it in a couple of ways. First, look at this truth table. There are the input columns for A and B. Then this intermediate column AB shows that the AND result is only true in the bottom row. Then when we OR together column A with column AB, we get this final column, which is identical to column A. In other words, A equals A or AB. This truth table makes it clear that the AB term contributes nothing. The only case where AB is true is where A is also true. So the OR result would be one even without the AB. We can also prove this rule by applying other Boolean algebra laws and rules. Starting with A or AB, we can factor out A. Then rule two tells us that one or B equals one. Finally, rule four tells us that A and one equals A. Therefore, A or AB equals A. Just like we saw last video, we need to interpret this rule generally. The variables will not always be A and B. Instead, read it as a literal, or with that same literal, and anything else, equals that same literal. This slide will show several examples of applying the same rule to seemingly different situations. First, a simple one. Through the commutative law, this y and x can be reorganized to x and y. Then we see that this expression has the exact same structure as the standard rule 10 expression. Just now a is named x and b is named y. So following that pattern, we are left with just x. The next example shows us that a literal could have a prime symbol next to it. The phrasing still holds a literal or with that same literal and anything else equals that same literal. Now that literal is a prime, so the result is simply a prime. In this next example, the anything else is actually two variables being anded together. To help us see it, I've included parentheses around rs. The rule still works here. Only the standalone literal remains, so the result here is q. Down here, we are simply applying each of the ideas discussed already. The commutative law lets us rearrange the initial expression to now read x prime or x prime y prime z. The literal x prime appears both on its own and being anded with something else. So just x prime remains. Finally, one more example of rule 10. In this one, we are considering AC prime as a unit. The unit appears both on its own and being anded with this B. So just that unit AC prime remains. Admittedly, I stretched the meaning of literal a bit to now consider a repeated unit, but you can verify this step with a lengthier process like first factoring out the A. The setup for rule 11 looks just like that of rule 10, but for one little difference. Can you see it? It's the prime symbol here. That little difference changes the result significantly, so pay attention to it. If you see repeated literals, try rule 10. If you see a literal and its complement, try rule 11. Again, we can prove rule 11 through a truth table. The two rightmost columns are identical which shows that a or a prime b equals a or b. We can also prove this through Boolean algebra. This one is a bit trickier and involves working in a non-simplifying direction at first. Through rule 10, we can expand a to read a or a b. Next, through rule 7, we can expand a to read a and a. Then rules 1 and 8 together let us add this a prime a. 
a prime a equals zero, and anything ordered with zero is itself. Now we're done expanding and can simplify. Through the distributive law, we can rewrite these four terms into these two terms in parentheses. If you don't believe me, then try distributing or foiling this expression. From there, a or a prime equals one. And finally, one ended with anything equals the anything. So we see that a or a prime b is the same thing as a or b. Just like rule 10, we do not want a narrow focus when looking at rule 11. Interpret this rule as a literal, or with that literal's complement, anded with anything else, equals that literal, or with the anything else. That's a mouthful, I know, which is why the algebraic summary is much nicer. In this first example, we simply reorganize y and x prime. Then we identify the rule 11 pattern of a literal on its own with its complement in another term. So the complement drops away. In the next example, the shoe is on the other foot. A prime is on its own and A is anded with something else. A prime is the standalone literal and A is its complement. So we drop off the A, leaving us with A prime or B. In the middle, we notice that Q prime is the standalone literal and its complement Q is being anded with something else. That something else happens to be multiple variables, but that doesn't change anything. Still, the Q drops away and the something else remains. It's easy to glaze over now and think, yeah, yeah, I get it, rule 11 works. I want to re-engage your attention Imagine yourself not on the slide where you know rule 11 will be applied. Given a random expression that looks like this, would you be able to immediately identify the pattern? I would not be able to see it immediately. That's why I take the extra step of reorganizing this initial expression so a standalone literal is in front and any matching variables are listed first in their respective product terms. Now I'm able to see the rule 11 pattern and simplify. And now one last example. Here we can see AC acting as a unit. In one set of parentheses, it's being complemented. In the other, it is not. The standalone unit remains while the other one drops off. We reach rule 12. I'm sorry to see our run through the rules list come to an end. The pattern to look for here is multiple sum terms being multiplied together. If one of the literals is shared between those terms, then you can simplify as shown here. The repeated literal, in this case A, ends up on its own. The remaining literals, BC, are anded together, and those two pieces are ORed together. Let's just prove this algebraically, and then you can get to practicing these rules on your follow along worksheets. Given these two terms and together, we first distribute. First, outside, inside, last, gives this expression. Next, we see A and A, which simplifies to just A. Next, we actually get to apply rule 10 twice in a row. A or AB becomes just A. Similarly, A or AC becomes just A. There are no more shared variables, so we've reached the end of the line. The first and the last expressions prove rule 12 to be true.